YouTube, this is Me So here with Me So Making It. Welcome to my kitchen. Where today I'm going to be showing a video that I made uh, early on when I first started my channel. So it's kind of retro. I'm going to be making a southern style spaghetti squash. So I think it might be fun to watch it. The lighting's bad, but the recipe is still good. So you see here I have a spaghetti squash and it's about maybe three or four pounds. Probably paid a little bit less than four dollars for it. And I'm going to go ahead and get these labels off of it and I'm going to wash it and cut it in half. So right here you see I've already washed it and I've cut it and I've scraped the seeds from one side and now I'm scraping the seeds and the pulp from the inside of this guy. And uh, these seeds can be seasoned and roasted in the oven and they make a delicious snack or um, you can just throw them away. So here I'm using sunflower oil only because that's the closest oil I had to me. I'm going to get it all over these, these two halves of uh, the spaghetti squash and I'm going to just rub it in. And um, I could use a little bit bigger dish but this one is going to be okay. And I'm going to put some adobo uh, seasoning on it and I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap and get it into the microwave where I'm going to cook it for 20 minutes on high. Look at it go. So I've gotten it out of the microwave and you see that I've already removed the spaghetti meat from one side of these, this uh, spaghetti squash and now I'm going to just remove it from the other side because I want you to see how it's done. You're going to need to use a fork and you just scrape it and as you scrape it these, these strings of spaghetti like vegetable come up and so uh, you see it really looks like spaghetti. It's a little bit mildly sweet, very very good. So we're going to get all of that out of there. Every little bit. The more you scrape it, the more comes up. There you go. So here I have some other ingredients and you see that I've got both uh, sides of the spaghetti squash out. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of just some self-rising flour and this is three tablespoons of French uh, fried uh, onions. This is like French's makes them and Durkee's makes them, but this is the off-brand that I got from all these. They're cheaper and they're just as good. So we're going to put that in. I have a half a cup of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, leave it out. So now I have three tablespoons of chopped bell peppers. These are red, green, yellow, and orange bell peppers. And I have a fourth of a cup of sliced spring onions, and I'm going to put those in. This is sour cream, and I'm going to just put in three or four tablespoons. That first tablespoon is really heaping big, and so uh, this is about three. And you can put in, depending on how much um, vegetable you have, how much spaghetti squash you have, then you put that much sour cream in there, whatever you think is good. I have here a cup of leftover spaghetti meat sauce, and um, I'm not going to use the whole cup. I'm going to use about three-fourths of the cup. And you can buy some uh, meat sauce, or you can use your leftovers, or you can make some. And you don't have to be put in three-fourths. You put in as much as you want. I have a cup of shredded cheddar cheese here. I'm going to use a half of a cup inside and save the other half for later. Here I have adobo and garlic. And I'm going to get these in. And when you put it in, just put it in how much ever you want, whatever you like. Put in that amount. Here is some lemon pepper seasoning. You know I love that lemon pepper. Yeah. I've got here some oregano, and I'm going to just put in a little bit of oregano. And I'm not putting a lot because I had oregano in my spaghetti uh, meat sauce. So now I'm going to begin to just stir and stir and mix it up. Yeah, I'm mixing and mixing and mixing. Mmm, looking good. Smells good too. So I'm going to just go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to get my casserole dish that I'm going to be taking it in. Same dish that I put in the microwave and I'm spraying it now with some vegetable spray. And I'm going to take maybe half of this mixture and just put it down in the bottom of the casserole dish. I'm going to press it into all sides. And I'm going to use 
for some additional spiciness, I'm going to use some pepper jack cheese. Yeah, just four slices. If you like pepper jack, use it. If you don't, leave it out. Put another cheese in. Um, however you want to do it, this recipe is very forgiving. So it's like Burger King. It's going to let you have it your way. So now I'm going to get the rest of this uh, mixture and put it on top. Going to do the same thing. Going to spread it out to the edges and just kind of smooth it all out there and um, making sure that the cheese is covered. Now I'm going to get my uh, fried onions and I'm just sprinkling them on. I think I'm going to use my hands to just get out some more and kind of more evenly put them on. And, I am going to also get the remainder of that uh, shredded cheddar cheese and I'm going to sprinkle it on the top quite evenly and get ready to put it in the oven. Let's go. So here I have my oven heated to 350 degrees. It stayed in the oven for about 25-30 minutes. I've just gotten it out. Take a look. Doesn't that look good? It smells divine. Let's plate it up. Here you go. I just sprinkle a few uh, slices of the uh, chives on top. Look at that. Oh my God, that's a good view. Ah, uh, this is, mm, I wish you could smell this. Oh, wow. I want to taste it. I want to taste it. Okay, let me get a small Just a little, little more. Just a little more. Mm, guys, this is so good. This is really, really good. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I hope you try it in your kitchen sometimes. Hey, guys. Thank you for coming by and watching me to see what I was going to be throwing down today. I thank you for watching. Remember to share this video. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And comment. I love interacting with you guys. Thank you and bye-bye. Come by to see the next video.